I was in a gallery in Philadelphia talking to artist Amy Forsyth when she pointed Robert out do. something was happening <laughs> behind me. The the female. There's a tap dancer behind you. <laughs> so, having a look at her as she went past by that goes into once in love with Amy. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long time. <laughs> come back, young man, come back. Tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Michael Scarborough. I'm an artist from New York City, and we're here at the Center for Art and Wood in Philadelphia. And this is the piece I have created for the exhibition that's opening today called Smooth. It's an exhibition of antique European mangle boards, which were used in the old days for ironing purposes. As you can see, my piece is pretty much multimedia. I work a lot with dioramas, model making, figure painting, figure sculpting. And this is the first piece in which I'm really sort of melding my model building career and my art making career. It's kind of an exciting moment to have a transitional piece at the age of 64. As a fellow slightly balding 64 year old, I pressed this affable fellow for more details on his backstory. Michael Scarborough has been making things since age four when his naval aviator dad brought him a model airplane from the Pentagon newsstand. His father's naval service also took the family to Japan, where Michael was mesmerized by his surroundings and fascinated with the work of local artisans, most especially those who constructed the family's boat. Once back in the States, he continued to develop his skills as a maker, working with his dad on aircraft restoration projects for the Smithsonian, and spending summers as a carpenter's apprentice at the famous Knudsen's shipyard on Long Island. Despite these early years of art and design influences, Michael found himself singing opera internationally for over 25 years. <laughs> I can't get this guy to sing, and I bet he'd be good. You can go on YouTube and find me singing. Oh, okay. Absolutely. There you will see me, bald with a mustache. Shout out on the stage. Oh, easy as walking around the block for a girl that's got all you got. Just leave it to me. Well, he's put on a lot of musicals. He's an old pal of mine, and I just say to him, Mary, here's this little girl I'm interested in, and you'd be all set. Wouldn't you like to be on Broadway? With his successful solo debut at Carnegie Hall, providing the perfect opportunity to, quote, bow out on a high note, Michael found the maker's call too strong to ignore. He segued from the performing arts to the decorative arts, beginning with antique furniture conservation and morphing quickly into designing and building furniture commissions. In 2010, the influence of his childhood in Japan bubbled back to the surface, and Michael now focuses on the creation of reimagined Japanese lacquerware. His 60-year love of scale model building, strongly influenced by his time in theater, has broadened into what he calls, quote, storytelling in miniature. 
Michael's piece for the Mangleboards exhibition represented the first merging of his passions for model building and the making of Japanese-inspired art. As you can see, my Mangleboard is very different from the original ones. The original mangle boards had handles that were shaped like horses, but as mine is Buddhist oriented, I didn't really want to use a horse, so I thought, what sort of animal would be Buddhist? And of course, I came up with elephants. And I liked one elephant so much, I decided to give him an entire family. Whereas the original mangle boards would have Christian iconography, since I work primarily in the Japanese aesthetic, decided to make my mangle board look as if it might have been in Kyoto in the 1600s. That's why we have four Buddhist deities on it. The god of the north, representative of winter. The guardian of the east, he represents spring. We have a Buddhist warrior monk called a Sohe, who represents autumn and is the guardian of the West. The last character is the guardian of the South. He represents summer. And I have clad him primarily in European garb. Whereas the other ones are Japanese samurai, this one is European, which harkens back to my dad's maternal family, which came from Germany. And this fellow is what is known as a Landsknecht, who were German mercenary knights in the 1500s. They dressed fancy, but they were tough guys, <laughs> bad hombres. Had you ever heard of Mangleboards before this show? I cannot say that I had. I know on the time when I was singing opera working in Germany that the term Mangel, which we get mangle from, is still the term used for ironing. So if you take your suit to the cleaners, they say, would you like to have your suit mangled? And that took a little getting used to, but no, I had never heard of mangle boards. But now that I see them, they make a lot of sense. And now that I know Michael's life story, his artistic journey makes a lot of sense. From a childhood in Japan, building models and boats, to performing on the stage across the globe, to making furniture and Japanese-style lacquerware, to creating narrative sculptures, dioramas, and even a mangle board, Michael Scarborough, by drawing from his varied life experiences, has become truly an artist for all seasons.